Alright guys, so on this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to convert a CRT into an LCD, or a flat screen monitor, okay? Now, you've already seen this monitor before, it's the Wells Gardner K7000. In the last video, you saw one of the resistors flame out, and then of course after replacing it, we had some issues with the image. Here's the deal. The person who decided he wanted to buy my, uh heavy barrel arcade machine he's tired of waiting me trying to get this thing working so they've opted to have it replaced with an LCD I'm gonna go ahead and tell you if somebody didn't already claim the game and wanted it and was impatient I would personally do everything in my power to try to figure out what's wrong with this first and then get the original CRT put back into the game because let's just be frank if it came with a CRT, you might as well keep with the CRT. But, if you get a game that doesn't have a CRT, or you don't know how to fix it, or you can't afford to repair the CRT, and you just want that game to work, this is one of your options. Convert it to an LCD, or an LED, or just a flat panel in general, okay? So, we'll deal with this in part two, and we'll use one of my spare... PCV boards to test it to make sure it's working and if I accidentally sell all my spare PCV boards I have games in my own personal collection we can plug this into so let's forget about this for the time being and let's go work on the LCD which is right here now I got a lot of stuff already taken care of as you can see I got the LCD mounted this is not going to be permanent this piece of wood and this piece of wood that supports the LCD in place is going to be painted just so it looks a little bit better. You could use wood, you could use metal, whatever you want. As you can tell, the monitor right here, this is actually a computer monitor. All right. You can go ahead and spend the two, three, possibly four hundred dollars for an arcade flat screen monitor, or you could spend fifty or sixty bucks for a computer monitor. They both work the same. They're going to give you the same, you know, video outputs and quality, honestly. It just depends on your budget. And when I mentioned to the person how much it would cost to put an actual computer monitor in here, they decided they wanted to go, I'm sorry, an arcade monitor, they decided they wanted to go ahead and go with the computer monitor instead because it's cheaper and it will last just as long. And if it happens to burn out, guess what? Spend 50 more bucks, and you got a few more years left on this monitor, if not more. I have computer monitors and some of the games I'm running right now in the house, and I've had them for over a decade, and they're still running. So, don't discount a computer monitor, alright? You don't have to spend all the money. Now, I already have the converter board mounted to the game cabinet. You need to have a CGA to VGA or CGA to HDMI converter board in order to make this work. These original game boards were designed for VGA output for CRTs. Now, one of the downsides is the CGA to VGA converter board that I ordered has not arrived yet. So I'm using one of my spare boards just to show you how to set it up, okay? The same goes with here. Uh, let me f grab that connector out. It's got stuck on all these wires. i got to reorganize in here yet before this goes out. This is a CGA connector. I do not know the name of this connector. I just call it a CGA connector. If you know the name of it, go ahead and put it down in the descriptions or the comments below. Uh, temporarily, I have T-taps with quick disconnects to plug it in just to make sure everything's working just fine. When I get the actual new board in, I will directly solder it to the edge connector here. Until then, we're just going to go ahead and use this just to show you how to do it. You also need to power this board up, which is either through this connector here or through this connector here. And what's nice about these boards, you can use 5 volt DC or 12 volt DC. I'm using 12 volt, and the reason why is a lot of this game uses 5 volt. We have 5 volt that goes to the actual game board itself, which takes up quite a bit of the amperage 
and everything like that. And then of course 5 volt goes towards the lights on the coin slots up here. Alright, so the only t thing that uses the 12 volt is the sound amplifier. So I'm going to use the 12 volt to power this board here. The next thing you're going to need is going to be a VGA cable or an HDMI cable, depending on which type of converter board you have. So, the first thing I'll do is I get the board mounted like you already saw, and then of course I align up and mount the actual monitor itself, and that's going to depend on your game. You have to just take out a tape measure, make some measurements, and figure where the center is. And that's the center going from the up and the down, and the left and the right, okay? And this is as centered as I can possibly get it. So, after all that's hooked up, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your CGA cable. And you can either have a cable that plugs in right here or right here. It depends on the board. Sometimes the boards will come with both these connectors. Sometimes it only comes with this connector. It really doesn't matter. This connector here does the exact same as this connector here. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, we'll go ahead and plug the power in, which I decided to go with this one. You just plug that bad boy right in. As you can see too, there's a positive right there on the board. Let's see if I can't focus it a little bit. Yeah, it's not focusing very well. You can kind of see it. There's a positive right there. Alright, now you notice this connector the black wire is down towards the positive. That's because whatever company makes this board, they screw this connector up. And they put the red and the black in reverse position. Now if you want, you can go through the trouble and flip these wires around. Or you can just remember that they're opposite. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get the VGA connector plugged in. Right up here. So you just slide that in, tighten down your connections. Okay, now from here, we're going to go ahead and power the game up and see if it works just fine. So we'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, so we're back now. Uh, there's one last thing I forgot to mention before we go ahead and power this bad boy up. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the power to the actual monitor itself. So I take the power cord that came with the monitor, I strip the end... Very similar to how I strip the end for uh, how to replace your plug, okay? So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out that video on how to replace your plug end. And it's the same procedure to do this. And I just run the power right into the power supply. Because unlike a CRT, you do not need an isolation transformer for this, okay? So we'll go ahead and power this up real quick. And not only should we see the LED light on the power supply light up, but we should also see an LED light right on the actual video converter board. So we're going to focus on the video converter board, and I'll power it up. So here we go in 3, 2, 1. See that red light right there? That's telling me that it's working just fine so far. So let's go ahead, take a quick gander. There we go. Our game is working. We got a little bit of a glitching here, but we can most likely convert that or fix that through the actual uh, converter board right there. So the game itself is actually working. So that's a great start right there. Alright guys, well there you have it. That's how you convert a CRT to a VGA LCD LED flat screen monitor. As you can see right here, it's the Dell. Just like I said, it's a computer monitor. So we got a working game again. Sound works, the whole nine. So, thanks for watching guys. There's going to be another part to this on how to actually like adjust and set that board right there so stay tuned for more we'll go ahead and do a lot more on this video board right here 
before this game is out of here. And if you got any questions, I'll try and answer them the best I can. Other than that, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Take care now.